The Puss Moth begins life as a caterpillar living in very dense forests, and like all larvae, it's soft and squishy and a favorite of predators, and it knows it. But it also knows how to fight back. When it's attacked, it squirts formic acid to burn its attacker. In a forest this close, even the trees whisper. The Puss Moth caterpillar hears about each of the larvae that get eaten every day, about the woodpecker hammering on tree trunks, the grackles squawking hungry, even the soft chickadees have to eat. The Puss Moth larva wonders why other caterpillars don't just learn to spit acid. It's like they're asking to be eaten. It's a caterpillar's job to be careful. After all, birds will be birds. But as the caterpillar grows up, grows fatter and juicier, sees the birds flocking thicker, it starts to get scared. It counts all those other worms, wonders if one in six really wanted to be eaten or if they squirted all the acid they could and it didn't help. So the larva starts chewing on bark, churning wood and saliva into pulp and coating itself in a thick, hard cocoon. It's seen caterpillars try to shield themselves in silk. And no, silk isn't strong enough, isn't ugly enough, but if it can be rock solid, unfeeling, then at least if something eats it, no one can say it made it easy. The best thing the puss moth can hope for is that no one blames it for its own death, that someone acknowledges it shouldn't have happened. The puss moth larva has faith truly believes in metamorphosis, truly believes it'll emerge into a forest that has changed. Through the walls of its wooden shell, the puss moth hears the leaves whisper. There's a bird, they say, a snow white swan. They say he ate a larva cocooned in alcohol. They say birds gotta eat. They say he bit right through her developing wings. They say he swims so well. They say you can't blame a swan for pecking holes in every pupa. They say they know he did it, but he swims so well. The puss moth hears and the formic acid boils in its mouth. It spent its whole life trying to be dangerous or hard or tasteless just to avoid the beaks of arrogant birds. It had thought, it had convinced itself that at least a wooden cocoon would be respected, but it sees now. It's not that the trees don't believe caterpillars are eaten every day. They don't think it's wrong. It's not that the birds don't realize how much it hurts to rip a pupa open. They don't mind. The puss moth breaks out of its cocoon by burning through it with acid. When the bile in its throat is too much to take, it emerges winged and camouflaged, but no less edible, and it sees now. As long as birds gotta eat, more than moths gotta live, no amount of acid or cocoon or camouflage will ever convince a bird to keep its beak shut or a forest to care. <laughs>